Here's the question that came in. When we use insert and union all, we keep getting the error, or a 918 column ambiguously defined, but this is intermittent. Do you consider this a bug in the database? Uh, no, I don't. Let's explore what's going on. Let's create a table called T, X, Y, and Z, and I'm going to do an, an insert. So the question came in saying it's insert and you know they're causing us drama. So I'm going to insert, select 11010 from Jewel and 19899 from Jewel. That works fine. And here's where things get interesting. Let's say this is a complicated SQL, and as I often recommend, if you've got complex SQLs, one of the things you can use is a with clause to compartmentalize it. So I'll throw a with clause in there, and I get column ambiguously defined. What's going on there? It literally is the same thing. There's the same select, but I put a with statement around it, and now it's broken. So this person was saying, oh, yes, it's insert, it's union all, et cetera. So let's dig around. Maybe it's the with. If I take the with out, nope, same problem. Maybe it's the insert. If I take the insert out, nope, still doesn't work. Maybe it's the union all. If I just do one, nope, same thing. I get the same error. So it's not an insert issue. It's not a union all issue. It's not a with issue. It's this issue. What's going on here? If I run select 10, 1, 10, 20 from Jewel, that's fine. It doesn't fall over, whereas this one does. And that gives you a hint when you look at the output from SQL Plus. It's deciding on column names based on this literal data. If I try to use DBMS Utility Expand SQL Text to see what's going on with the problematic SQL, unfortunately it can't. DBMS Utility Expand SQL Text needs a valid SQL, in which this is not. But if I, you take the one that did work, you can see what happens when you actually expand this into what the database sees. The database says, take each one of these and give it a column alias, and the column alias is the literal value. So I've got 110 and 20 for my aliases, and then I query them, do this out of query. When I try to do something with 1, 10, and 10, I get two columns with a name of 10, and that column ambiguously defined. So the solution is very simple. Even if you're just selecting literals, if there's a chance to have the same literal more than once, then just make sure you have an alias. And I think this is just good practice anyway. As a result, once that's sold out, then yes, I can go back to my with statement, my union or and my insert, and it all just works because I took the effort of putting in an alias.